Total Mix Radio.com étant le premier réseau sportif haïtien dans First Asian Sports Network à Total Mix Radio.com. Toujours à la recherche de ça que Haïti, Haïtien avant d'entreprendre. En main, c'est une raison qui fait que nous relines et nous baptiser, nous reconnaître et y reconnaître que nous sommes le premier réseau sportif haïtien dans First Haitian Sports Network Total Mix Radio Datcom. Je dis ah, peut-être que c'est bien peut-être capable de reconnaître euh, euh, Monsieur A déjà, mais ça n'a pas étonné que vous capable de refaire connaissance avec lui. Mais comme ça, tout peut-être tout ne doit pas te connaître auparavant. Ou pour apprendre qu'on est qui est ce lié, c'est un footballeur, un soccer player, un Haiti, pas Haïti pas en Haïti, mais qui qui gagne lien à Haïti, peut-être monsieur c'était après conversation non on a gagné une idée beaucoup plus large à qui et qui est ce monsieur là que n'a pas parlé avec lui depuis l'Espagne bien entendu mesdames monsieur please welcome Danny Montpreville Montpreville good morning good afternoon how are you bro <laughs> How are you? Uh, very good, and you? Ah, uh, very good, very good. Everything is okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Danny, the first question I will ask you then quickly: uh, mm -hmm. Who's Danny Mumberville? I'm a Spanish Haitian football player. I am currently playing in the Spanish third division. I'm 26 years old. Um, As I said, uh, I'm self Haitian, self Spanish, because uh, my dad, is, uh, her, his family is from Haiti, and he came here when he was young to to begin his studies at university, and then the rest is history. Well, so your dad is Haitian. Yeah, that's it. What What is your dad's name? Uh, my dad's name is Luis Joseph Montprobe. More perfect. Hello, what about your mom? My mom is is from Spain, from Murcia, the the city in where I I grew up, and and he met my my dad when when my dad was at university in Spain. Mm. So you born and grew up in Spain. Where in Spain? Yeah. In in Murcia. Marcia? In the west coast, west south coast in, in Spain. Okay. Then, uh, if 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 somebody don't know Spain much, how you can explain where you locate it? How you can locate it, the uh, the Marcia, the where you where you born? Uh, to explain something uh, about the the city, you mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's a, a very, very good place to, to spend the holidays and also the daily life because we have we have sun, uh, really good weather, and a lot of beaches that in where you can enjoy your your off days and all your your free time. And also, the weather is mostly very, very good and very sunny and, and hot. Is that cool? Hot, hot, hot. Okay, uh, Danny, you born in uh, 1993. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so your dad is Asian. Your mom, she's Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. And you grew up in Marcia. Yeah. Okay. So, your mom and your dad only have only you. Uh, no, we are the one. Well, So I'm the, the the third son, so I have uh, a, a brother and a sister. Okay. So both of them living with you? Uh, yeah, not by now because actually I'm I'm playing in a in a team in Madrid, based in Madrid and that's why now I'm I'm living by my own. Okay. Uh, so All of you play soccer? You practice soccer? No? All of you? Uh, no. No, only me. Only you. Why Why you choose soccer? 
Uh, I don't, I don't really do soccer, but when I was a kid, I used to play soccer, and I began doing this uh, a couple of years after that, and I only used to play play soccer because it's the sport what, which in which I I feel I feel better uh, playing, in, and that's the only reason. Okay. So has your your career your career on football and some, I mean oh, when where I'm live they call in soccer you know it's football right yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. when I, I, I will use the word football for you more to understand exactly what I'm talking about uh, okay, okay. Uh, for, for I mean me, that's mine football, <laughs> okay. all right uh uh how you start your career a uh, career as a, a a soccer player or football player mm -hmm. I started when I was. 12 years or, or, or for 14 years old maybe I, I'm not really sure mm -hmm. but it was no uh, an, it was not quite a, a high level but I only play because a friend insist and persuade me to, to play in, in his team and I begin my career in in this team at, at that age and after that uh, I spent a couple of years playing in another team at the same level. And after that, I, I, I began to play for Real Murcia FC, in, which is the, the team of, of the city I've, I've been living all my life. And I played there when I was uh, 17 years old. After that, I, I started to play in, in a senior team in the fourth division and next year we we promoted to the third division oh. i spent the next year right there and and next i went to another team on on third division and in this team and in the in the winter window i I moved to Lorca Deportiva uh, FC, uh, another team in third division, which was on the top of the table. And um, this year we ended the season at the first position, but we cannot promote to the to the second B division. But next year, uh, finally, uh, we could promote to second B, and that's why the the following year I played in in second B division. Mm -hmm. uh, and that year, in in the win in the winter window, I I moved to to another team in in second B division to SD Formentera, which is a team based in the Balearic Islands in in Spain, close close to Ibiza. Maybe you you will know. Mm -hmm. And after that, I next year we. We, I stayed to in another team close to, to Murcia in, in third division, and now I'm I'm in Madrid in, in third division. Too. So the team you play in right now it's a is a third division in in Spain. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's called uh, a flat. What is what is the team names? Uh, flat Earth FC. Flat Earth FC. It sounds like an English name. <laughs> uh, so, did you ever try to leave Spain to pursue your your career and different uh, country in Europe? So, uh, all my family in Haiti and United States used to to tell me that I I I will need to to go there to to try to find an, a team, but. I I've never really tried to to go there, but I'm really open to to go there because it's a it's a place I I really like the most I think and and a part of that uh, is where my family is. Mm. Mm. So uh, since then, when when you look at your career, it like uh, uh, six five different teams, all of them that's this there was in Spain. So you really, you really don't want to leave there. You do, you really don't want to go somewhere else. No, that's not the the question. The 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 thing is, is because I don't really have the the opportunity to go to 
uh, a great team outside to, in Spain. So I didn't want to 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 go to a team in in a worse or mm. category. Do you think, uh, uh, Danny? Do you think like uh, 26 years old, you play the third division? Do you think it's enough for you? Uh, no, I think uh, anything never is is enough because you always need to to work hard and and that's the my my point of view of of like everything. Try to to go up and and grow up. So I also. Uh, have been interest, really interested in, in playing for for the Haiti national team. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but when you when you look at your skill, your, if if you try to to say if you grow, we can say you grow from fourth, fifth division, and now mm -hmm. you play in third division in the past uh, three years. Do you think you grow up enough? Uh, not enough, but. As I said before, I I think that uh, you always need to to grow up uh, as as a professional and as a person. So that's why I, I thought that maybe for m for me and my career will be a a, a great uh, improvement to to play for a national team. And about of that. Uh, mm -hmm the the country of of my dad and myself myself country my half country oh uh when when the last time you went to haiti what when the last time you went to haiti did you ever travel i i never been there you never been there you no i i've been in united states because most part of my family are are living right there Mm -hmm. And that's why I I went here and not to Haiti. When and, uh, when I was a kid, uh, it's like ten years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, your dad never go there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my dad is currently there. Or, okay. Or one or a couple of weeks ago. But did you ever try or ever ask them if you can go to visit Haiti to see has your... Uh, probably you might, you might be have some families still living there, right? Yeah, yeah. but the point is uh, because it was quite difficult because I was at university and I had exams um, in, in May or in June mm -hmm. and I also com was combining the university with my soccer career. Mm -hmm. So then, when when I was the uh, on holidays to the university, I had to to start the preseason with with my teams. So mm -hmm. that's that was very crazy. busy. You uh, are you yeah. are busy man, busy busy man. Yeah. That's good yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, uh, any are you ever have a chance to watch uh, the Haitian national team, either the the U twenty, U twenty three? Uh, even the senior team playing, are you ever have a chance to watch them? Though? Yeah, I remember a, a, a very, very great match against the Brazil of of Ronaldinho because my at, at this time my brother was in in Haiti spending his summer and my brother went to the stadium. Ah, that was that a good game, man. The, the game was like for Brazil only. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Are you ever think Haiti can call you one day to come to a national team? I think everything's possible. So, but I don't. I don't really. I don't really know if, if they are interested in or or not. But for me, it would be a pleasure to to represent the Haiti national team for sure. But uh, do you have any connection with the Haitian Federation? No, I don't have any any connection. I tried to contact a couple of times ago, but they it didn't succeed at the end. Okay, which position you play, Danny? I play as a midfielder. Midfielder, you left or right? Right, right foot. Right foot. Uh, but 
the la the recent time you didn't have a chance to watch Haiti, but I will ask you: Do you think you might be doing better what the the the, the midfielder, current midfielder, and the Asian team national don't do? And if you can do better than them, uh, if they call you, what will be your answer? Well, what can I what can I apply to the team? Uh which position you mean, or, or what you mean? If no, they call you, if they call, if the Haitian national team calling you right you now, you are talking about. If if you mean, what can I give to the team? Or say it again. If 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 you mean, uh, uh, you want to know uh, uh -huh. what can I give to the team or what? what oh, okay. Do you think you might be bring something new in the in the team? I, I will support uh, strong um, speed and the most important thing that I think is is to stay motivated and and the desire to to grow up as a professional and a part of that to, to represent a, a national team. Oh yes, let let's hope they're gonna call you soon. And we're gonna <laughs> see, we're gonna see Danny, Danny Mopreville with the Asian national team. Danny, uh, are you ever tried to speak Creole? Come on, yeah. No, no, never. <laughs> Why? In in your house, they don't speak Creole when you was little, no? When you was a kid, no? no only my dad when when he's phoning his his family. Oh, only when he's talk to people in Haiti, he, he speak yeah. Creole. Okay. Yeah, I well, always been speaking with my family in, in English. Don't worry. When you, if they call you in the Asian national team, those guys mm. gonna make you speak Creole, man. Yeah, this would be <laughs> a, a great opportunity. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anything you wanna say to your people, my people, or was spend time to watching you on the interview? Anything you wanna say with them, Danny? No, I only want to to thank you for. For the interview and, and all the all of the followers to the to the radio, the the, the thanks to to hear the interview. All right, have a good day, Bo. <laughs> the same to you. All right, thank you, thank you, Danny. Madame, Monsieur Danny Montreville, qui nous a parlé avec lui depuis l'Espagne. Il y a ces jeunes qui gagnent 26 ans, bon, pas jeunes, et quand même Danny qui qui gagne pile à à à prouver. Gomba Gai récemment peut-être que me dit et m'a pas m'a pointé genre répété tête moi encore pour me dire que en pile fois gagne une mentalité qui arrivait bon côté mes haïtiens et je pensais que il y a un monde qui voulait qui peut être tête bas haïti c'est parce que qu'il pas gain capacité ou bien parce qu'il pas bon et me toujours dit ça c'est c'est un menti que nous bail tête non et son très très un gros mensonge en gros en gros mensonge que yo bail tête yo les mon ali même li fait li, li comprendre haïtiens comprendre que ça bon yo pas cap pour haïti c'est pas vrai c'est pas vrai c'est pas vrai et moi pense malheureusement que Haïti pas gain opportunité pour le jouer match pendant mois de mars là gagner un paquet de joueurs que qui sous me euh, dit qui dans liste dans radar sélection Haïti Haïti senior là il a pour opportunité pour monsieur te juger pour te garder capacité yo là yo te fait match ça en mars dernière conversation avec Dado te dit que match ça a pas fait parce que eh, raison que me t'ai expliqué non hein? économique si j'aime t'a parler non hein? que raison économique parce que pour déplacer frère ou t'a pas venir de eux-mêmes so moi penser t'a pour opportunité par exemple des joueurs peut-être qui cagé en 3 ans 4 ans 5 ans ils été dans carrière football au niveau senior et pour t'a bail et Haïti t'a ka exploiter parce que eh, chaque saison ou ka jouer un groupe de joueurs qui ka pi bon et qui ka aidé fait atteindre les plus hauts niveaux. Je pensais que c'est une autre opportunité qu'il a supposé pour la fédération haïtienne. Malheureusement, est-ce qu'en juin, il n'y a pas trop serré? Est-ce qu'il y a bien assez de temps pour faire un camp? 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 Pour faire un Par exemple, comment il s'appelle? C'est Seyan. Et je suis supposé avoir une interview avec ce monsieur-là, là, sous peu. Si pas, nous n'avons pas interviewé ce déjà, non Et en façon que vous êtes capable au moins de gagner une idée de vous. Bon, problème d'entraîneur, c'est une. Le problème de staff, c'est l'autre. Nous avons suivi.
Totalmixradio.com, c'était Dani Montpreville, mesdames, messieurs. We were talking with him since depuis la depuis l'Espagne. God is good, my brother. Stay tuned. Totalmixradio.com. Oh, 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 oh.